In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have taught us to chasten our bodies for the healing of our souls, enable us, we pray, to abstain from all sins and strengthen our hearts to carry out your loving commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Daniel. Lord, great and awesome God, you who keep your merciful covenant toward those who love you and observe your commandments, we have sinned, been wicked, and done evil. We have rebelled and departed from your commandments and your laws. We have not obeyed your servants, the prophets, who spoke in your name to our kings, our princes, our fathers, and all the people of the land. Justice, O Lord, is on your side. We are shamefaced even to this day. We, the men of Judah, the residents of Jerusalem, and all Israel, near and far, in all the countries to which you have scattered them because of their treachery toward you. O Lord, we are shamefaced like our kings, our princes, and our fathers for having sinned against you. 
but yours, O Lord our God, are compassion and forgiveness. Yet we rebelled against you and paid no heed to your command, O Lord our God. To live by the law you gave us through your servants, the prophets. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Remember not against us the iniquities of the past. May your compassion quickly come to us, for we are brought very low. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Help us, O God, our Savior, because of the glory of your name. Deliver us and pardon our sins for your name's sake. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Let the prisoners sighing come before you. With your great power, free those doomed to death. Then we, your people and the sheep of your pasture, will give thanks to you forever. Through all generations, we will declare your praise. Lord, do not deal with us according to our sins. Please stand. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be merciful just as your Father is merciful. Stop judging and you will not be judged. Stop condemning and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and gifts will be given to you. A good measure, packed together, shaken down, and overflowing, will be poured into your lap. For the measure with which you measure will in return be measured out to you. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. While reflecting on our beautiful readings today, particularly the Gospel, I was reminded of a true-to-life story that happened during World War II. In prison camp in Poland, there is a certain prisoner who attempted to escape, but in the process, he was caught. In order for others not to repeat such attempt, he was hung together with his wife and 12-year-old son in front of all 
prisoners. Since the mother was the heaviest in weight, she died first, followed by the father and then the son. The son took around 10 minutes to die, accompanied by violent contortions of his body because he was very light. While he was struggling in the gallows, somebody shouted in the crowd, Where is God now? Nasaan ang Diyos? There was silence. And then there was a response on the other side who said, Here is in that boy who is slowly dying in the gallows. God is in that boy who is slowly dying in the gallows. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus tells us, be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Be merciful as your Father is merciful. If we will look the meaning of the word compassion, it comes from the Latin word cum, which means with, and patire, which means to suffer. Therefore, compassion means to suffer with. When we suffer, God suffers with us. We are not alone. When we love, we become vulnerable, and so with God. When His Son, Jesus, was hanging on the cross, God the Father suffered with Him because He is a compassionate God. My dear brothers and sisters, now Jesus asks us to be compassionate as his father is compassionate. I remember talking to a guidance counselor on a certain university and that counselor happened to be a nun, shared to me the story of a student whose family died in a car accident. She was the only survivor because she was not with them. While the student was sharing and relating what happened and unloading her pain, the counselor just hold or held her hand and cried with her. The sister did not utter any word. After the counseling, the student hugged the sister and told her, thank you, sister for your beautiful advice. She never uttered any word, but the student felt that the sister was one with her in her pain and in her struggle. I remember Joseph Hertz, and I quote him, 
when he said, Man is never nearer the divine than in his compassionate moments. Di man tayo katulad ng Diyos, kaya nating magpagaling ng mga incurable diseases. Di naman tayo ang Diyos na kaya nating gumawa ng anuman na imposible. But at least we can near close to God in His divinity when we are compassionate, merciful, and understanding to one another. Because Jesus urges us, be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Please stand. Let us pray to God who is kind and merciful, who heals and pardons all our sins. Let our response be, Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the church may fulfill her ministry of healing and forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That government officials may show care and concern for the poor and the marginalized. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That we may be able to see our own faults and refrain from passing judgment on the failures of others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. That the sick, the lonely, and the handicapped may find strength and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us that our dear departed relatives and friends may find peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, let your love flow on us. Merciful Father, these prayers and intentions we bring before you express our needs and our hopes. We ask this, Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept in your goodness these our prayers, O Lord, and set free from worldly attractions those you allow to serve the heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through bodily fasting, you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Christ our Lord. Through Him, the angels praise Your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Lord, in love of Christ, bring us to everlasting life, the body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. 
May this communion, O Lord, cleanse us of wrongdoing and make us heirs to the joy of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.